CJC, IPA, and HGH killing deep sleep. Uh, he had great sleep prior to taking them. What is that? You you know the answer to that. You you've talked about that before. Yeah. So a lot of times it's the metabolic like activation and adaptation phase that is coming from that. So you take your nervous system, you jack it up because those are obviously like raising the metabolism. So it increases the nervous system activity and it's keeping you up. So the thing about taking all those at the same time, this is why I don't recommend starting all these at the same time because you don't know which one it is. For some people, it could be the CJC because it raises heart rate, so like that increases your nervous system activity and that mess with your sleep. For some people, it's Tessarel and Ipamrelin rarely does that by itself. But this is why I say like, take those in isolation before you just jump into a blend. Cause a lot of people are like, oh, I just want everything. So I take a blend. So it's hard to say, but in my opinion, it's you're increasing nervous system activity, then you're depleting minerals at a faster rate. So you don't sleep as well. So you need more magnesium, you need more taurine, you need more electrolytes. And then also too, you could potentially switch to taking it in the morning, pre-workout instead of taking it at night and still get some benefit from it. But you don't really know which one it is if you're taking all three of those together.